mellified. The process of analyzing, dominating, and breaking down a game into its core components for review, clarity, and overall entertainment purposes. Let's get it. Um, Zatchbell Moto Fury is a 3D fighter, um, and it came out by, published by Namco Bandai, like most, uh, anime games, um, and it was developed by Mechanic Arms and released in September of 2006, so it's been a little while. Um, there's a, I believe a PlayStation 2 and GameCube version. Uh, for this Mellow Fight, we're gonna be looking at the PlayStation 2 version. <laughs> for those of you guys who have been on the channel, you, y'all know why the PlayStation 2 version. Hey, don't tell me what to do, bro. I just got here. Who do you think you are? <laughs> you haven't earned that. What is going on, people? We are here with our Zatch Bell Mamoto Fury Mellow 5. Let's hop right in. So, for the story of Zatch Bell, uh, Zatch Bell is summarized about a boy um, or a child referred to as a Mamoto. And what Mamoto do is every thousand years or so they battle against other Momoto or other little children. They come from a separate world than like the human world. And they battle against one another in order to become the Momoto king. Um, they don't really explain what that means to be the king or what the king is able to do, what power he he or she possesses, but in, in, in other words, um, the king is supposed to be the um, best out of all of the children Momoto. So on the back cover of uh, Zatch Bell Momoto Fury, it reads, every thousand years, 100 Momoto descend upon Earth to conduct the ultimate battle. Take control of Zatch and Kyo. Zatch is the uh, main character Momoto. Or any of 19 other teams and fight to the finish. Choose from story mode, versus mode, and arcade mode. Play a variety of mini games. Featuring an all new original storyline for the game, which we will definitely discuss. So, all of that basically sums up Zatch Bell. Um, each of the Momoto have to team up with a human partner um, in battle. And it's kind of similar to, like, I want to say Digimon esque. I didn't really watch much of Digimon, but I believe Digimon is a series where you have a, a creature, an entity that is partnered up or paired with a human partner and they work together, but it's kind of a two-person uh, team. And so Zatch Bell has that same premise where it's um, spells, a spell book with each Momoto, and each Momoto teams up with a partner, a human, that can read those spells. Zatch is a Momoto, one of the hundreds of Momoto that live in each forms a partnership with a human, and these partnerships then battle each other. And the last one standing is... Yamamoto King. So in terms of the gameplay, as I said earlier, um, Momoto have, each Momoto possesses, they have their own spell book. Inside of their spell book, there are different spells that the uh, human partner can use or call out and the Momoto will execute that spell, that move. Um, and it ranges from different types. We'll use, for example, Zatch, um, since he's the main character. His ability is, uh, he has lightning-based abilities, or lightning-based spells. And so, for his first spell, for example, Zakir, he's able to shoot lightning uh, <laughs> from, his, from his mouth. Most Momoto use fire abilities from their mouth. I don't know why, but <laughs> that's um, how kind of how they're set. Um, for, in terms of like the gameplay, you're able to play as both the Momoto or the human. So if you pick 
Uh, for example, on the character screen, if you select Zatch as a character, you're really selecting the team Zatch, which is Zatch as well as Keo, his human partner. During game, during uh, a match, you can swap in between Keo or uh, Zatch, just depending on your preference. But let's be honest, you're mostly going to use Zatch. It's, it's very rare that you can switch to Keo, and I'll demonstrate why. Um, there are some players that are, uh, are not players. There are some characters that are unplayable. So there are some characters that you'll see in the story mode or that you'll have to go up against that they just don't have, um, you don't unlock them. You don't unlock them in versus mode. You don't see them anywhere else other than the story mode just to go up against them. Um, so that's another interesting note about the game. Uh, but it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, interesting gameplay. It's 3D, like I said, environment. You can roam around, run around, um, and you want to, the goal is to try to eliminate your opponent, take their health all the way down. You can damage either the Momoto or the human partner. They share the same health bar. Um, and so that keep that in mind also when you're, <laughs> when they're attacking you as well. That was a C Bandai. So in terms of replayability or game modes, there are three or four basic modes in this game. You have the story mode, which goes through uh, the story of Zatch Bell. It covers most of the main fights that Zatch um, fights in the original uh, TV show. Um, with a few, some of the fights that you do fight in the story mode, and this is kind of one of my gripes I'll talk about more. You fighting, you fight certain enemies that other characters in the story fight those enemies, but you fight them as Zatch and Keo. Every single fight in the story mode, you fight as Zatch and Keo, as opposed to fighting as uh, some of the other matchups that they had fighting them in the uh, story. Um, there is versus mode, where you can play against other, uh, either computers, or you can play against uh, other, other friends or other people. Um, nobody's supposed to be realistic. No one's really playing this game as much, but a little game for you to, if you want to play uh, locally with a friend, you have the option to do so. Um, there is a time attack mode, I believe, as well, um, that can be unlocked later on in the game as you progress through the story. Um, and that's something that's also uh, beneficial. There is a gallery mode also, to where you can see images of all the different um, characters and kind of 3D models of all the characters. If you're into collecting and that kind of thing, not collecting, but like completion, um, that's something that's available to you as well. And it's pretty cool to see all the different um, characters in 3D form. Another another note for the gameplay, um, the human partner is the one that holds the book in their hand. You have to be careful because um, if, the, if you're not controlled by the human partner, so if you're controlling the Momoto and your human partner gets hit, they'll drop their book. And there can be kind of negative implications when the human partner drops the book. When they drop the book, you're unable to uh, use spells, and it kind of resets your ability to use your ultimate spell, uh, which you guys will see later on. So in terms of the reception, um, on GameStop, uh, this game is rated as a 4 out of 5. And then on IGN, it has a score of uh, 3 out of 10. So not a highly praised game, uh, really, by IGN standards. GameStop. Um, I don't really know where their standards lie. Um, my grade, I would give Zatch Bell for what it is. I like to put games into categories. If we're rating Zatch Bell just as in like overall game, uh, I feel like it's gonna it deserves a lower score like that. But if we categorize Zatch Bell in terms of a uh, fighting 3D fighter, um, yeah, 3D fighter game, I would give it about a. I would give it about a 5 to 6 out of 10. It's got some going back and playing it again. Um, I really did enjoy the story um, and kind of the elements. I do have some discrepancies with like the hit frames and um, certain certain aspects of the game. But overall, um, I did enjoy playing it back that second time. Um, something that I would like to see uh, if there were like future... There aren't going to be future improvements for this game likely, but... Some future improvements are things that could probably boost up its score. Um, I alluded to a little earlier, 
Zatch and Keo are the only, literally the only team that you play with in the story mode. So every single battle is using Zatch and Keo. It would have been nice to get some uh, differentiations where you use um, either the uh, character that was the canon character that fought in that fight during the actual story, uh, like the story from the TV show, or um, you get to choose which character that you would like to use in order to battle in order to battle that uh, enemy for that part of the story. For example, um, I believe Zophis was one of the fights. Keo and Zad did fight against Zophis, but it was ultimately Brago, the team of Brago and Sherry that fought against Zophis in the TV show. And so it would have been nice to uh, have that canon fight go on during the story mode, rather than fighting against Keo and Zad to defeat Zophis. Um, I feel like that would have added to just just for me as a fan of Zach Bell, uh, it would have added to the uh, fan fan. What's the expression? Fan fan service, giving giving something giving something to the fans uh, that they would like to see. Um, there's not really much else I could see that they could do better on. Um, Possibly better hitbox data because there are times you'll see that there are times you'll you'll see that uh, certain things, certain attacks don't connect that obviously clearly hit the opponent, and there are other times where things don't get hit and um, people don't get hit, and there no, there are times when people get hit will get hit by attacks that they're nowhere near, and then there are other times where people will not get hit with attacks that go like right through them or that are like right on target for them. And so, better hitbox data, but it's understandable. I mean, this game came out over 14 years ago. Um, and so, it's expected that it's not going to be, um, you know, that the, the hitbox data is not going to be the best. So overall, I give the score for this game a 5.5 out of 10. And that, people, has been another game. Mellow. Okay, dodge, dodge. Key oh, don't with the shield already. Gosh. Keo, don't don't ask those kind of foolish questions. So I didn't get that health, Bandai? I didn't get that health up? Alright. Oh. Yeah, okay, yeah. Blast through that. Blast through that. Blast through that. Wait, wait, who are you running up on? Hold on. Oh, oh my gosh, I missed. Okay, okay. Get some get some space. Let me let me heal up. Let me heal up my energy. Uh-huh. Hold that for a second. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Okay, we're good. We're good here. Keo, I hate hearing that. Stop making excuses, Keo. Stop making excuses. I don't play this game to hear excuses. Blast through that. Okay. Ooh. Okay, okay. We need to get our energy back, people, and we're going to finish it. We're playing strategic right now. We're playing strategic. Let me get my energy up. Let me get my energy up. Okay, now it's time to go to work here. Oh, yeah. Hold oh, my gosh. He really jumped in the air. Blast through that. Okay. Get out of there. Oh, we're good. We're good here. We're good here. Yeah, eat this light. Ooh, eat this light. The shot. The shot, Zach. Okay. Oh, my gosh. One more and we can... Oh, okay. One more and we can finish it. Key, Zach. Ooh, Keo. Drop kick this man. Get up off the floor, Zach. Ooh, yeah. Sit down somewhere. Where does Master go? Oh, my gosh. Okay, Keo. Oh, Keo. Dodge that. Keo, okay, we will if you. Uh huh. Yep, yep. Good job, Keo. Good job. You solidified it. Nice. I'm done with this game. 